homeless shelter will open its doors next week for its first full season of service. The Wolf, the Wolf first opened in February, but due to permits, only operated until the end of April. Armel Meyer reports. The Wolf Homeless Shelter will provide those experiencing chronic addiction to drugs and alcohol a warm place to stay during the harshest winter months. The Nameless Coalition for the Homeless started the project years ago, but plans for the shelter might not have been possible were it not for an anonymous donor two years ago. We were just giddy. It was so great because then it made everything else seem possible. To put that with the money we had already raised and to have a huge donation, it just was like, this is going to work. Since then, people have given beds, jackets, towels and more, including free or reduced prices for space renovations. Um, we still need help with donations and stuff like that, but um, we've been functioning really well and we really, really appreciate the community support. The shelter will only be open from 6 p.m. to 8 a.m. each day. However, the group says the 16 beds fills a critical need of a safe space to sleep for those struggling with addiction. There's a shelter for families, there's shelter for people that might not be struggling with that, but again and again we kept coming back to that problem. At an open house today, community members were able to see inside before it reopens October 1st through the end of April. It turned out good. I'm glad they picked it out. Um, this place, it's it's real, real nice location. In Bemidji, I'm Al Meyer, Lakeland News. The Nameless Coalition may open the space for meetings or other uses when the shelter is closed during the summer months. If you've enjoyed this segment of Lakeland News, please consider making a tax-deductible contribution to Lakeland Public Television.